for data and statistics, we have here a comparative analysis, uh, which is uh, re represented by colors. Yung uh, blue is uh, 2018, the, the orange is uh, 2019, and uh, yellow is 2020, and uh, green is uh, 2021. So for overnight uh, tourist arrivals, slightly decreased by 3% in 2019 from 2018. It, however, drastically decreased by 82% in uh, 2020 compared to 2019. Overnight guests and had an 82% drop as well in domestic and 78% in foreign arrivals within this period. Ito naman kasi yung uh, pandemic uh, period uh, which uh, every, everyone is uh, very affected talaga dito sa mga travel restrictions. And then going to the first quarter of uh, 2018 and uh, 2022, for the first quarter of uh, 2018 to 2022, the first quarter overnight tourist arrivals in Eastern Visayas increased by 8% in 2019 from 2018. It, however, decreased by 49% in 2020 compared to 2019. Overnight arrivals further decreased by 23%, both in 2021 and 2022. Now, from the first quarter data, a 6% increase in overnight domestic tourist arrivals occurred in 2019 from 2018, and uh, it decreased by 49% in uh, 2020. Overnight uh, domestic arrivals further increased 21% in 2021 and uh, by 24% by 2022. The total uh, day visitors in uh, Eastern Visayas had a 6% increase in 2019 from 2018. However, a sharp uh, reduction of 96% uh, in uh, uh, day visitors occurred in uh, 2020. In 2021, total day visitors started to increase again with a 618% uh, growth. <clears throat> Domestic uh, day vis visitors follow the same trend with a 7% increase in 2019 from 2018, decreasing further by 49% in 2020. And uh, it increased by 83% in 2021 and another 80% in 2022. While foreign uh, day visitors increased by 38% in 2019 and 100% in 2020. By 2021, only 24 foreign day visitors were reported. And in 2022, foreign day visitors increased to 2,574, but is still just 18% of the day visitors recorded in 2018. We are recovering, pero hindi pa namin talaga inaabutan yung uh, peak namin in 2018 and uh, 2019. And then uh, go going to our uh, accredited uh, tourism uh, enterprises, below is our uh, DOT, accredited tourism enterprises. Now there are uh, primary tourism enterprises and uh, secondary tourism enterprises. As for the primary tourism enterprises, we have the travel and tours agencies. We have the accommodation establishments, of which uh, uh, are included here are the hotels, the resorts, the apartment hotels, mabuhay accommodations, and the uh, homestays. And uh, also the tourist uh, transport uh, is included here, and also the tour guides and uh, community guides. This comprise our uh, our primary tourism, tourism enterprises, which uh, totaled in summary to 329. For our uh, secondary tourism enterprises, we have uh, our restaurants, specialty shops, agri-tourism farm sites, adventure and tourism recreational facilities, mice uh, organizers, and uh, tourism trainers. So <clears throat> this is a, uh, uh, the, the the data and uh, statistics on uh, tourism arrivals and also uh, the tourism uh, accredited tourism enterprises. Now for the for the hindi, hindi ko na, na, na dito for the uh, tourist receipts, 
uh, may, may I just uh, give you an idea of uh, how much uh, uh, Eastern Visayas uh, gained uh, or uh, gained from uh, visitors uh, coming to uh, to Region Eight for uh, 2018. We uh, <clears throat> almost met, met our target of uh, 20 billion. Because in 2018, we had a revenue of uh, 19.6 billion. For 2019, we have 24 billion. 2020, it uh, drastically de decreased. Talagang napaka ano napaka baba nung uh, ano niya, bagsak niya. Uh, 2020, 3.1 billion. 2021, 6.5 billion. And uh, in 2022, at the first quarter lang ito. 1.1 billion. So, talagang uh, we have uh, still uh, a lot of work to do here uh, in Eastern Visayas to recover dito sa aming mga tourism uh, uh, mga tourism uh, stakeholders and even our tourism enterprises. So, uh, maybe uh, uh, I can talk later on uh, dito sa ano natin sa mga uh, Pagdating dito sa question and answers, uh, ano, ano ba yung mga potentials ng uh, uh, Eastern Visayas? Tapos sa uh, mga uh, ways forward namin, ano ba yung mga strategies to uh, to recover and uh, regain and uh, sustain our ano our uh, tourism uh, industry? Tapos sa uh, we, we can also talk about uh, yung mga stimulants or uh, how did we induce uh, tourism growth in, in, in the region. And then, uh, siyempre, the overall uh, tourism uh, experience, yung mga multidimensional approaches to tourism, uh, very important also in, in uh, our uh, recovery. And uh, also, the uh, siguro, we, we can also talk about uh, later on uh, capitalizing on uh, domestic or uh, local uh, tourism, most especially uh, dun sa pinagdaanan natin na pandemic tsaka yung you know region 8 eh, favorite uh, whipping boy ito ng ano eh ng uh, mga calamities o oh, lahat ng uh, malalaking calamities uh, name it we experienced it from super typhoons to uh, big earthquakes lahat yan na dinaanan namin but uh, we are uh, very very resilient and uh, by the grace of God talagang uh, uh, ang, ang industry sa Region 8, including the, the stakeholders and the enterprises, pinagtulong-tulungan talaga namin ito to recover.